Hi there, I'm Cody Mack here at the lab at Kalefi North America. This week on Ask Kalefi, we will be focusing our attention on the 172 series manifold mixing stations with built-in hydraulic separators. The 172 series is great for radiant in-floor applications using PEX or PEXL PEX. It includes a thermostatic mixing valve as well as a built-in circulator. But occasionally we get questions about why am I not getting any hot water to my manifold as well as what is this H fitting? If you look just above the supply and return connections on the manifold itself, you'll notice the H fitting that is actually a hydraulic separator. There are certain applications where you should and should not use the hydraulic separator, and today I'm going to give you some general rules as to when you should and should not use the hydraulic separator. If you're installing this unit in a system where you already have a boiler circulator and you are going to be tapping for the supply to this manifold off of that supply, then you need to keep the hydraulic separator in. This allows the boiler circulator pump to pump to and through the hydraulic separator out the return and the built-in circulator on the 172 to pull from the hydraulic separator what it needs. If you are going to be installing this and expecting the built-in circulator to be providing flow to your load as well as flow to and from your heat source, you need to remove the hydraulic separator. If you do not remove the hydraulic separator, you will not get flow from your heat source, your boiler, to your manifold at all. Removal of the hydraulic separator is fairly simple and straightforward. You're going to take a wrench and loosen up the union nuts that connect the ball valves to the hydraulic separator. From there you're going to take that same wrench and loosen up the union nuts that connect the hydraulic separator to the mixing valve assembly. Set that guy aside. You'll notice that a gasket fell out of the ball valve assembly. You're going to want to put that gasket back in. Connect the ball valves directly back up to the mixing valve. You're going to want to make sure to tighten those up with a wrench and it's as easy as that. Thanks for listening and be sure to let us know if you have any questions about this or any of our other products.